Around the world, a dangerous myth prevails that coercion and torture are the most effective ways to elicit the truth. But the evidence shows that these methods produce unreliable information and lead to false confessions and miscarriages of justice. In the long term, this undermines public safety and leads to mistrust in public institutions. The risk of torture and other mistreatment is heightened during the first hours following arrest. Safeguards, such as granting the detainee immediate access to a lawyer and informing the family, have a deterrent effect on torture during custody. Under pressure to deliver, police often resort to confession-driven interrogations where manipulation, coercion and torture are used to confirm a presumption of guilt. We need to shift the emphasis from interrogation to investigative interviewing, which focuses on gathering accurate and reliable information while respecting human dignity. This involves the interviewers maintaining a professional and respectful attitude during questioning. They aim to build a rapport with the interviewee, which allows them to gather and test information. Investigative interviewing methods and other safeguards have now been proven as the most effective way to improve policing, solve crimes and build confidence in national justice systems, helping us to build a safer and more trusted society.